The Livermore Stampede brings together some of the best teams in all of California. Two of those teams are meeting today, California and Archbishop Mitty. Mitty is currently ranked second in the nation, just behind last year's Stampede champs, Amador Valley. Mitty's success this year can be contributed to their 91 runs and overall team batting average of 385. But if anyone's going to give this Mitty team a run, it's going to be the California Grizzlies. California is led by junior Lindsay Chalmers, who has only allowed two runs all season. It's a beautiful day for some softball, so let's get to the monster highlights. Say hello to MIDI coach Brian Yockey and Cal coach Joe Calloway as they shake hands at home plate before the game. Top of the second belong to Lindsay Chalmers as she gets the batter swinging and the inning. To the third more, MIDI Kirsten Norton gets a hit on the ball. It falls in shallow center. Norton gets to first. Monarchs now with the runner on third and two outs. The Grizzlies' Quinn Cooper with a nice throw to Leah Fournier, keeping it scoreless through three. Skip to the fifth and it's Lindsay Chalmers not slowing down. She gets yet another strikeout, one of her 12 on the day. Pretty impressive day for Lindsay. Bottom five, the Grizzlies Chalmers waste no time getting a quick base hit to get Cal started in the inning. But the Monarch sophomore pitcher Desiree Severance puts an end to the inning just like that. Still no score through five. Top of the sixth, more Severance. This time she gets the great bunt. The ball gets away and Severance makes it all the way to second. In comes a pinch runner for Desiree. And a few plays later, Later, Ashley Chestnut comes in clutch, getting a much-needed Monarch base hit. Danielle Bowers is going to race home for the first run of the game, Mitty up 1-0. Then off a wild pitch, the Monarchs pull in another insurance run to extend their lead 2-0, headed into the bottom of the sixth. And bottom of the sixth belonged to Desiree Severance. Two outs for Cal, and it's Desiree getting the batter looking to end the game. Mitty wins with a final score of 2-0. Kind of really stressful. But I know that I have a great offense and a great defense, so I'm always going to be backed up either way. We look forward to games like this, being a, a good team that we are and a good team that they are. We worked really hard all week, and we were prepared for this game. 